This is the 15-year-old boy it took four police officers and a dose of lethal force to subdue. Police say Tyler Cassidy was agitated and had been threatening people with knives stolen from a nearby store. When I initially saw them, was, like, I wondered whether they were kind of big, like sawn off shotguns or something. Then police say the boy turned on them, saying, kill me, I'm going to kill you. Two doses of capsicum spray and a warning shot failed to stop him. And then three of the four police opened fire from a distance of more than 10 metres away. They have to protect themselves and the other members of the public at the end of the day, so they've, they've ultimately had no choice. But the police union says they could have had a choice if Victoria Police supplied taser stun guns. Taser, uh, um, used correctly, um, immediately resolves the situation by, by rendering a person incapable of uh, uh, voluntary movement. Today, friends released a statement saying the family is appalled at the heavy-handedness of the police and their lack of negotiating skills. The family supplied these pictures. But the boy's MySpace page suggests he was a member of the white nationalist anti-immigration group called the Southern Cross Soldiers. This case opens old wounds for Victorian police who have had a reputation for being trigger-happy. Statistics collected by Liberty Victoria show that between 1987 and 2005, officers here shot and killed 42 people. The next closest state was New South Wales with less than half that number. All other states and territories were in the single digits. Jane Cowan, ABC News, Melbourne.